Here's your monthly housing update. The volatile month of March and the first quarter of 2020 has come to an end. The stock market and S&P 500 hit all-time highs in mid-February and they lost that and more in the month of March. This happened when the economy came to a screeching halt. Consumer spending and small businesses have been severely impacted. Further declines are sure to follow. The housing market did receive some positive news. In the month of February, pending home sales rose 2.4%. And in that same timeline, each of the four major regions in the US saw gains month over month. This was before the impact of COVID-19 hit our economy. But many economists are predicting that the stimulus package may lessen the damage and help us to recover throughout the rest of the year. Before this pandemic hit us, we were already seeing a generational low of houses on the market. Why? Well, because we are all living in our homes twice as long as we were before. The only way to really see a true change in this supply is to have construction workers start building. And we don't really see that happening in the foreseeable future. What's interesting is the demand for homes is still really high even during this time. Low mortgage rates will continue to help with this demand for borrowers even after we get back to normal whatever the new normal is. Economists are predicting that home prices will continue to stay stable and maybe even rise this year. Let's talk about your options. If you have a mortgage right now, you really need to look into refinancing because we could potentially help you save hundreds of dollars every month on your mortgage. And that will go a really long way, especially during these times. Feel free to send this to anyone you know looking to buy, refinance their current mortgage, or even invest in real estate. Stay healthy and safe.